Hey guys, welcome back to the Doodling Tulip. It is Kirkland and today I'm going to show you a flip through of my student planner. So I set this up before I started filming again. I actually set this up way back in, I don't even know, uh, like the, the beginning of June. Uh, <laughs> I know, who sets up school planners in June when you don't go back to school in August? But I just couldn't wait. Um, back to school time is one of my favorite times in the whole world. Like, it's like a holiday to me. So, this is a, I don't think they call it a student planner at Walmart. It was just one of the Walmart releases that had the color block layout. It came on plastic metal disc, but my school planner stays packed. And I, so I had to put it on expander discs. And today I was just going to flip through everything that I have in my student planner. And then once back to school time comes around, uh, which I start school on the 21st. I don't know what day this video is going up. Um, I know it's around the beginning of August. But I can't think of what day. But I still have a few weeks, like two weeks until I have to go back to school. But I just wanted to show you all the steps I took and all the things I added in here to prepare for an easy transition back to college. I will be a senior this year, so I only have two more semesters until I graduate. I have one semester left of classes and then my spring semester I'll actually be student teaching. I'm an elementary ed major with a concentration in early childhood education. So when I graduate, I'll be eligible for my K-6 license and my birth to kindergarten, which is so fun. I love the birth to kindergarten age, but my heart is really in kindergarten and like four year olds. So who knows where this teaching journey is gonna take me, but I'm sure that you guys will be updated as soon as I find a full-time job next May. So to start off in this student planner, I have some sticky notes. I live by sticky notes in my student planner because due dates are constantly changing. Um, I actually don't even write like due dates in my planner, even in the monthly spread until the week of because due dates change all the time, especially when you're an education major. Things change, you know, oh my gosh, school is never, like, it's ever changing. So these are just some socialite sticky notes that I got last October that I didn't use all of. And I really liked them because they had, like, the, the time strips. You know, there's just a bunch of variety of things I can use for them. And then here is my hello page. I just lettered my name. You guys, speaking of lettering names, I have just uploaded... Um, well, actually, I think when you see this, it'll be up for a few days. But I just posted a listing on my Etsy shop for a digital, uh, for custom digital files of your name in my handwriting. So you'll be able to download the file with your name on it. You can use it forever. If you have a Cricut or a Silhouette, you can print it and cut it on vinyl and stick it in your planner on your welcome page. Um... The only reason I didn't offer to print and cut it for you is because I currently don't have a Cricut or a Silhouette. It's the one thing that I'm saving up for. <laughs> so once I get one of those, I will offer print, cut, and shipping in case you want me to ship it to you instead of you do it yourself. But for right now, it's just a digital file. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, but you can pick your color that way. You can make the size that way. You can use it for whatever you want if I offer it in a digital file. So, <laughs> with that being said, here is my year at a glance. Um, let me move this so you don't see the shadow. So here, I used the dots that came in the Joanne Mega, like the big 100 page book. And I just took four um, colors of dots and I made my little key up here. So yellow one is first and last day. The green one means no school. The light blue is days that I have events or meetings, and the teal color is days I have final exams. So I just put it on the days. Um, these aren't transparent, but obviously I know that after the 8th comes the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, and then it picks up at the 14th. So that's not really, a, that wasn't really a big problem for me, but I went ahead and pre-planned my whole year. Sorry about that noise. <laughs> I am, um, I forgot to cut the volume off on my phone. 
no problem there. But for here, I pretty much mapped out my entire until I graduate. So I graduate on the 9th of May. What? Not prepared to be a grown up at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> so let's just go on to the next thing before I think about that. So I haven't glued these pages together. Um, this planner technically started in July, but I'm not in school in July. So I took out the entire month of July and I just am gonna just take these pages together. I just have to buy a new tape runner. So here is where I list all the things that I have to do before school starts. Um, sorry, I'm going to have to take a drink of water. My throat is hurting, so just give me one second. All right, much better. Here is where I listed the, kind of the things to get me ready for school. So I have like prep for the semester, um, go school supply shopping, order my textbooks, um, then right here is where I keep the birthdays of just my classmates. So while I have a, I know a lot more people that have birthdays in August, I wanted to make sure that I wrote down my friends at school's birthday. That way I could be reminded and tell them in person when I saw them. Down here, this is pretty self-explanatory. I have the first day of class, some student leader things I have to attend, like the involvement fair, stuff like that. And on this page, I made kind of an overview of my fall semester. So I color, well, I didn't technically color code it, I guess. Well, yes, I kind of did, I guess. I pretty much did. No, I didn't. I didn't at all. I didn't color code. I color coded the ones that had two days. That's what I did. <laughs> So on Monday is when I'm going to be doing my field experience is what they call it, but it's pretty much like a mini internship. So I'll be in a school on Monday from 7.30 to 3.30, maybe 4. And that's when I'll be in a classroom, being able to teach, um, all that kind of stuff. On Tuesday, I have, Tuesday's my long day. I have two classes. I have teaching science and teaching diverse learners on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I have the teaching of communication. No, wait, Wednesday. Did I say Tuesday? I don't even know. On Wednesday, I have teaching of communications. On Thursdays, I have social studies curriculum. And on Fridays, I have foundations of geometry, measurement, and data. So right here, I just made myself a little back to school prep sheet. Here I listed out all my school supplies and here is a list of things I need to do before the first day of class. So I have like, print the syllabi for all my classes in my labs, um, order a parking pass, order textbook, prep my Google folders for all the classes, pre-plan the semester with sticky notes, read all my syllabi extensively, complete my field experience application, and reconnect iPrint to my laptop. iPrint is just the software that my university uses to um, connect your computer to the university printers. So that's pretty self-explanatory. And then here's August. I already planned my August monthly because I'm a psycho and it's just what I do. I obviously don't have any like school assignments yet, but I just wanted to notate like the first day of class, some big events I have when my tuition's getting done, um, you know, Jillian's birthday over here, things that I'm doing for my honor society, executive board and then we don't start school till the 21st so I took out and obviously these dates don't match up I took out all of the weeks so when I flip from my monthly to the weeklies it's my first week of classes so I didn't have all those extra wasted pages right there that were just gonna annoy me um so obviously I already have some stuff planned out on sticky notes this divider came from the everyday accessory pack that's at walmart right now and then here's just a little journaling card um and then i obviously don't have anything in my weeklies yet so i only have from august to may in here because i graduate in may and i won't need a student planner in the months of june actually this was an 18 month planner so i wouldn't need the months from June to that December. 
the next thing I have is just a checklist stencil. I love these things, especially in my student planner because I like to check things off or highlight them when they get done. So I put that in the back instead of the front because I don't know if everybody's is like this, but you can see it's kind of curved. Like it doesn't lay flat. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, I don't know. But I put it in the pretty much in the middle of my in my planner that way it wouldn't pop my front cover open so here I have a folder um this is where I can just put some little like flyers or stuff that I get from school and right here is where I have all the school related stickers that I've ever gotten in like accessory packs box kits stuff like that just in case I ever need them because you know things come up all the time so there's that and in the back I have a whole bunch of icon stickers so like I said I like to check things off I like to mark things so there are just some extra icon stickers I have in the back at my disposal here are just some little tabs so this came from the class the teacher accessory pack at Walmart so did this folder actually this folder came from there too it came with this the little it was a little like black and white paper clip I keep that in my mini and then it came with checklists and note paper so the first page you get on the checklist is like classroom events and volunteers contact info stuff like that and then you get a whole bunch of checklists which while I don't necessarily need check room check room <laughs> classroom checklist right now I will be going into my internship in January and I think this will be a great way to keep using my planner while I'm in my internship. So that way I can just have one notebook, I can have all my checklists, I can have all my notes, I can have pretty much everything I need in this planner. So I just have a whole bunch of note, uh, checklists and then here is my projects tab. Um, these are just the little it was like a pack of dividers that you could get from Michaels with their back to school release. I think it had like eight divider tabs in it and they're blank and they came with this little sheet, um, with this sheet actually, of little labels. So you can put your, what, put whatever section it is. This is my project section. I have a divider here just so I can flip to my current projects. And here I just have some project sheets because I am in school for education and we do lots of projects, lots of group projects, lots of individual projects, a lot of projects because we have to learn how to be hands-on. And then back in my last section is a note section. I am in two, store, two student organizations. I'm in our leadership organization. It's called Watson Student Leaders. Watson College of Education is the, um, like the College of Education at my university. So I'm in that and I'm on the fundraising committee. And then I am the membership chair for our, um, Oh gosh, what's it called? For our honor society. Goodness gracious. It's Kappa Delta Pi International Honor Society for Education. So our chapter at our school um, is pretty big actually. And I am the membership chair. So here is where I'll keep like, um, look, I used a little journaling card right here. It says keep out because it's got all of our like passwords and stuff on it. So if anybody ever saw it, they wouldn't like, they won't be able to you know whatever and then um, here's just notes from a meeting we had this summer and then I have a divider tab to pull me to the next page of note pages and then I just have the note pages that came in that same accessory pack from Walmart and I put them in here because they are teacher related but at all of my you know meetings and stuff like we even have like internship meetings and stuff like that so I'll be able to take notes, keep it in my planner. I can move it to the day that I need it. I can leave it back here so I have all my notes in one place. But that was just really, I really wanted to have that in my planner so I wouldn't have to carry around a separate notebook for each organization. Um, so it just made it a lot easier for me to have it in one place. 
And this is the back cover. I mean, tell me how pretty this cover is. Were, was anybody else so excited when they put these florals in the Fun Florals book? Because I know I was. It was like the best thing ever. So there is my flip through of my student planner for 2019-2020. I'm really excited to jump in this planner. I will have a plan with me coming soon in it. Um, I think it'll actually go up. I don't know if it'll go up the week I start classes or if I'll start them the second week because our first week of classes is a half week. So I'm not really sure how I'll go about that, but I have tons of back to school videos coming for you guys. Uh, I'm so excited. There'll be tons of extra videos other than just weekly plan with me's. So yeah, if you guys liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, I'd love it if you would subscribe. Hit that red button down there that says subscribe. And then make sure you hit the notification bell so you are notified of any of my future videos. Thank you guys for watching and happy planning.